Okay, so in this video, we have to find the limit of x cubed as x approaches negative 8. So in general, when you're computing limits, the first thing you should try to do is take this number and just plug it in for all of your x's. If you actually get an answer, then that's the answer. If you don't get an answer, like if you get um, division by 0 or something funny, then you should try something else. In this case, we can just plug it in. And whenever you plug in the number, you always drop the limit notation. So we just have negative 8 parentheses cubed. And this is equal to negative 512. And so what this means is that when x gets really close to negative 8, x cubed gets really close to negative 512. So if we were to look at the graph of x cubed, it would look something like this. And let's pretend that this here is negative 8. And then that would mean that this here is negative 512. Obviously, this picture is not drawn to scale, but that's the uh, idea. So as x approaches negative 8, the y values approach negative 512. That's it.